Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. This is an unsponsored Everlane review. I've wanted to try Everlane for a while now as they focus on high quality basics and I love wearing basics. They also market themselves as a brand that focuses on using high quality materials. So today, similar to my other videos, I'm going to be giving you guys my honest review about whether it lives up to that expectation and whether Everlane items are worth it. I'm also going to leave my measurements here on screen for reference you can find everything I ordered and their sizes in the description box below as well. So let's get started. The first item is the Texture Cotton Cardigan. I was pleasantly surprised because it looks exactly as it does on the website. The sweater itself is very thick and has a good weight to it. I love the fit and the color of this. I'm normally a small, but I got this in a medium because I like my sweaters a little oversized. The color I think is similar to the Aritzia sage green color, and I think it pairs really nicely with mom jeans or trousers. I could even see myself styling this for the office as well. The material is very interesting as a sweater. I feel like I'm not used to this texture because I'm always wearing wool sweaters. The knit isn't fuzzy like a wool or cashmere sweater, but it gives it a very clean look. There is also an extra button sewn into the tag in case you lose one, which is always great. You can style this buttoned up or open, casually or more dressed up. Overall, I'm really happy with this piece and I definitely recommend this one. The next item I got is the cashmere polo. I love the style of this one. I think it's just so chic and it also can be dressed up or down as well. The sweater itself is super soft and cozy. It's not bulky. I really love how versatile this piece is and how many different ways you can style it. The last sweater I got is the oversized alpaca crew. I was so excited to try this one. I went for a large in this because I wanted it to be pretty oversized and overall I love the slouchy relaxed fit of the sweater. With that being said, the one thing I didn't like about this sweater was how thin it actually was. You can literally see how paper thin it was. You can also see my white button up shirt through the sweater in this clip. If you look at the reviews on the website, there's actually so many positive reviews about this particular sweater. So I was very very surprised that it was so thin in real life and that none of the reviews indicated this. For the price of this sweater, which I think is almost $150 Canadian, it was just not worth that price tag. But yeah, I really love the fit and I really wanted to like this sweater, but sadly I think I will be taking this one back. The next thing is the long matte coat. It's an oversized cotton jacket, looks really really cool. I love how the collar is a little different than the traditional trench coat style. It's not lined, but I think it'll be enough to keep you warm in the spring or fall. It's definitely more oversized. It also has two extra buttons sewn into the tag, which is always a great detail. Overall, really happy with this jacket. I think it could probably use a steam before I actually wear it out, but feels really good quality, has a good weight to it, and just again, a very versatile piece. Okay, so next up we have some jeans. I ordered all of them in a size 26, which is my normal size, and let's see how they fit. Okay, so first we have this black number. This one is the curvy cheeky jean in the color washed black. This one is true to size as you can see. I think it's so flattering. There's no waist gap, which is amazing. Usually that's the problem I have where there's either a waist gap or the hips are too tight, but this one has neither of those. They do have a good weight to them, but there's also a slight stretch being that they're not 100% cotton. I also love that there were different length options as well because I hate it when I try on jeans that fit perfectly everywhere, but they turn out to be too short and I can't buy them. Went with the regular length. I also really loved how high-waisted these are. I have a really long torso, so it's harder for me to find jeans with such a high rise so I'm really happy with these ones. So this next pair is a blue mom jean. This one is the curvy 90s cheeky jean. I was curious between the two styles so I got one of each and they are pretty similar at first glance. This one is 100% organic cotton so it is a more rigid jean and I actually prefer this one because it feels like it would last longer. This one fits so well, doesn't need any tailoring and just looks so great right off the bat. I'm not sure if you can tell from the clip but this one does have a slight slightly higher rise than the black ones, so if you want that, then definitely go for the 90s cheeky jean. But yeah, both are great options. I think they make your butt look so good, and if you have a higher like hip to waist ratio, then the curvy ones are the way to go. 
All right, so this last pair is the Way High jean. This one is marketed as a straight leg jean, although I feel like here it fits me more like a wide leg. This one also feels softer and has a little bit of stretch and it definitely runs large. You can tell this one, I have a hard time keeping up. So I would size down if I were to buy it again, although I feel like I would just have to tailor these instead of sizing down to get the perfect fit. So I might just be returning these, but I think this pair looks great with a crop top or a tank top in the summer and it's also a really great just classic dark wash straight leg jean. So that's everything I got from Everlane. Let me know what you thought of these items and let me know as well if you've tried Everlane and what you think of the brand. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!